T-minus one minute. T-minus 30 seconds. We are go for launch. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, NASA Social for the Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station. Welcome back to the final segment of the NASA Virtual Social for the Crew-1 mission. I'm your host, Bethany Hall. For over 20 years, we have been living, working, and conducting research on the International Space Station. It has been one of our most valuable assets for learning about how this, the space um, affects the human body. I, we, today we are going to be talking with two students who competed in the Jeans in Space Challenge. For those of you unfamiliar with the challenge, let's take a quick look at this video. Minus 10, 9, 8. Jeans in Space is a science competition inviting students to make a real contribution to space exploration through DNA analysis. Students in grades 7 through 12 design DNA research proposals and become pioneers in space biology. Winners will participate in space biology camp and watch their experiments launch to the International Space Station. Three, two, one. I want to first start by introducing Dr. Matt Smith. Dr. Smith served as the mentor for Finson Sampson and UG Wang. Welcome everyone. Hello. Just a reminder, you can ask questions, our guest questions by typing them in the chat window. Dr. Smith, tell me a little bit more about how you got involved with Genes in Space. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, so uh, my name is Matthew Smith. Um, I've been a mentor at Genes in Space for the last two and a half years. Um, and while I've been a mentor there, I've also been getting my PhD from Harvard in the subject of biology. Um, and there I've been working under the mentorship and in the research lab of Dr. Benjamin de Bivor. Um, and there I actually was interested in understanding uh, individuality and behavior. And we'll hear probably in the next few minutes how that's relevant to the experiment of UG and FinSAM and um, the, what, what we've actually come to refine and we're gonna send up to the International Space Station. Um, so prior to my uh, work at getting my PhD at Harvard, I was at Michigan State University where I studied biochemistry and molecular biology. And that's actually kind of the first place where I got involved in research, also through a mentorship program. So Genes in Space definitely holds a special place in my heart um, as a, another way where I can help engage younger scientists and get them ready for answering the big questions of the future. Um, and so over the last year, I had the honor and privilege to work with Eugene Finsam to take their original proposal um, and kind of fine tune it and work with them to do a lot of the groundwork to troubleshoot 
um, and get a working tangible experiment to send to uh, the incredible scientists at NASA and eventually get sent up to the ISS, International Space Station, to be conducted by the team there. Um, it's been a really wonderful collaborative experience by the greater Genes and Space team, um, including another mentor, Dennis Adebay. Um, and uh, yeah, and with that, I'll pass to FinSam to do an introduction to himself. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Vincent Samson. Um, very excited to get questions from you all. Yuji and I entered Genes and Space uh, a year and a half ago as seniors at Troy High School in Troy, Michigan. We proposed a study that was looking at how spaceflight can impact neural function, uh, our nervous system. Since then, uh, I'm currently a sophomore at Stanford University studying um, computer science with an interest in biocomputation. And this summer, I actually interned at NASA's Ames Research Center with the Gene Lab group doing work there. So yeah, pleasure to meet you all. Yuji. Um, hello, as FinSam just mentioned, my name is Yuji Wang, and I work with FinSam in my senior year of high school, developing a proposal and eventually getting through to the final stage and finally getting selected, as you saw in the video. Um, I was really interested in computational biology in my senior year of high school, and to some degree, I still am. I am still doing uh, computer science, actually. Um, I'm currently a sophomore at UC Berkeley studying computer science and electrical engineering. Um, I am also pretty active in the space-related sphere. Um, in at UC Berkeley, I am really I am in several extracurricular activities that do space-related projects. For example, this semester I'll be leading a project that is developing a plant growth chamber for use on the International Space Station. Okay, Dr. Smith, can you tell us more about how they got to the point where their research is going to be launching to the International Space Station? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the way the Genes in Space mentoring program um, kind of is conducted is first we get research proposals from across the nation. And so uh, in this particular year, we had over 750 different applications. And FinSAM and UG's application definitely stuck out to us as being incredibly well-researched and such a really novel and interesting idea. Um, and so from that, they were, they were picked as a finalist, so one of five groups. Um, and there, they were paired with a mentor who I mentioned before, Dr. Dennis Adebe, um, who was getting his PhD in, from MIT, where they were to refine that proposal into a very nice presentation to present at the International Space Station Research and Development Conference. Um, and though from that, they were chosen as the winners after doing an incredible job presenting their research and outlining how this experiment can actually be conducted, where they then were working with myself um, and again, the greater genes and space team to actually, um, you know, refine what model organism we're going to use, actually conducting the experiment, looking at some of the raw data, um, and then, you know, eventually refining that protocol to, to move forward. Well, that's, that's super exciting. And you mentioned before that there were over 700 proposals that theirs was selected um, from. So what was that moment like for you? Um, and this question is more for Finson and, and Yuji. What was that moment like when you were at that conference and you heard that your proposal had been selected? So um, I feel that um, I, um, I, I was uh, actually FinSAM had previously gone to a Genes and Space conference before because he has been a previous winner. Um, I was uh, really, I was really inundated by a lot of um, of the science that was going on at the conference. I felt really, I felt really positive because um, people were taking my research seriously. People saw that my proposal had merit, and I also saw that there's this vibrant community around space-related research and just vibrancy in research in general. And it has sort of inspired me to go into research. In my freshman year at Berkeley, I undertook a research project uh, in the biosciences department uh, related to computational biology. And next semester, I'll also be looking for more research opportunities. Uh, Genes and Space has really increased my confidence and made me, uh, and really made me uh, think about uh, whether research is a good career path for me as a computer scientist. Yeah. I would definitely say that that moment where our names were called, it was just a mixture of so many emotions and that, wow, this, um, at that point, I would say four, four to six months long effort, wow, it, it has come to fruition and we're going to make this a reality. It was uh, really a new beginning, even though the launch that's happening on Saturday is also a really new beginning that we're really excited to get going. Um, but yeah, it was just a, a mix of emotions. Um, so much excitement, so much excitement to be had. 
that day. So your research is going to be conducted by the astronauts on board the International Space Station. Are, do you have any expectations for what you might find out? So yeah, um, I can start here. I, uh, we, our experiment, we're basically establishing a proof of concept. We want to see what kinds of changes we can notice in neural tissue, in the nervous system. Um, in space and establish the methods on the ISS, or the International Space Station, by which we can detect such changes. Matt or Yuji? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's the, a great way to, to put it. And yeah, I think our what's, what's cool is that we've done a lot of the groundwork, uh, working in a lab kind of uh, where I've been conducting my PhD work. So we do, and because of the system that we're using, we do have pretty clear hypothesis as to what to expect. Um, and in terms of the effects of microgravity, um, I think we we have pretty clear, you know, or uh, based on the, the, the findings from previous experiments, we think that there shouldn't be too much of a difference or effect of microgravity on this proof of concept experiment. What advice would you give students who would like to get involved with genes in space? So um, I would I would definitely say um, do research on what you're interested in. Um, I found that I was really interested. I've always been really interested in biology ever since I was a little kiddo. I did uh, a lot of uh, I have read a lot of science articles, pop sci articles, and ever since I w became more seriously interested in potentially pursuing a um, computational biology degree, I have been doing some background research, reading some of the newest literature, all the hottest scientific journals, for example, um, and. I'm I'm sure FinSAM has done the same as, uh, so, yeah. I would definitely say um, find something you're passionate about, you know, see what's out there, see what people are talking about in science, and if something stands out to you, um, pursue it, uh, especially if it's something you're passionate about. Find out mentors in science, people who can help guide you, uh, it's people that you can seek advice from more directly than um, uh, than us is giving you advice, but definitely um, read read a ton. Uh, read stuff about things that you're really passionate in, and find um, people that you can that can be your mentor, especially. Now, Finsom, you actually did a, an internship at NASA Ames. Is that correct? Yes. So what did yes. you do while you were there? Yeah, I was with uh, NASA's Gene Lab group, and they're essentially a website, but also a repository. They host a lot of space biology data from research, such as our experiment, actually, uh, that was conducted both in, on the ISS and in a bunch of space related missions. And my work there was really um, bioinformatics work, helping uh, work through their data sets and establish new capabilities for some visualization tools that they're planning to launch in the future. Yeah. Well, while we're talking about um, internships, um, just for those students watching, um, if you want to look for opportunities, you can go to intern, intern, sorry, .nasa .gov, and you can, the opportunities will be listed there. So, so you know, so you're going to see your research launch tomorrow. Where will you be watching from? So I'll be watching from home because uh, uh, because my because I uh, I really want to spend this time with my family to see like this monumental uh, achievement in my young life. Let's just say um, I will probably be my kid. My I have a younger brother and I'll probably be right beside him and he will maybe freak out, maybe not. And I'm just I am really really excited to see how my family reacts to this achievement um, and hopefully they will be encouraging and they will be just as excited as I am tomorrow. Yes, I, I would say very similarly. I'm going to be glued to the TV um, or the device that I will watch from tomorrow um, with spending that time with my family, showing my sister. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. Really looking forward to it. Yep, and I'll be watching from my apartment in Chicago. Um, yeah, also glued to the TV, but close to Lake Michigan, so nice, pretty views. Well, thank you all so much for being with us today. Um, we definitely wish you luck in all of your future endeavors, and what do you plan? What does the future hold for you? Um, as you, you know, prepare your sophomores now in college, um, what do you plan on doing once you graduate?
Great. So I would definitely say that I'm looking forward to any sort of opportunities out there in space biology, computational biology, and um, getting involved, pursuing this um, interest I have in how space flight can really impact neural function and just learning more about that and um, advancing the field of health in general. Um, don't have specifics, but definitely looking to uh, pursue that more in the future. Yeah, along the lines of what FinSam says, uh, FinSam just said, I am really also really interested in computational biology. Um, I think that perhaps um, doing this research uh, doing this research project has cemented my interest in research in general. I've done previous research projects, but this has been a really positive experience, as have the previous ones. So I'm really encouraged to pursue um, uh, a master's or PhD and uh, go further into academia. Um, once again, thank you all for being here with us today. And thank all of you who are, have watched us and been with us for each of our segments. Um, this is the end of the NASA Virtual Crew One Social. Um, we hope you will join us on launch day during the live broadcast coverage. It is at nasa.gov backslash live, and we hope to see you then. Thank you.